I'm joined now by the editors of the new anthology, Poetry for the Many, but they're rather unlikely anthologists, former Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn and former Unite General Secretary Len McCluskey. Well, welcome to both of you. I certainly wasn't expecting you to, to grace my studio, so thank you for coming in. Um, right, Jeremy, let me start with you. You were at this march on Saturday and you were speaking there. And as you know, it was a controversial march. Uh, I, from my point, I think a lot of people there are there for the right reasons. They're there because they genuinely believe that they want to have a ceasefire in Gaza and mm. stop more people being killed. I understand that. But there are people there, and we've seen all the images all over social media, who are blatant anti-Semites and in some cases blatantly supporting Hamas. What do you feel about that? Well, they weren't taking part in the march that was organised by PSC and Stop the War. Um, well, they were there. Well... Been, I've seen them, it's in Listen, the images. The equivalent of the crowd of 10 cup finals came to London on Saturday to march for peace in Gaza because they're appalled at what's happening there. Mm. And there were people there who wanted a ceasefire. There was black... Yeah, but what about the there ones... There were placards there calling I, the release I, I, of... I've already hostages, said that. I, calling for the release of I've acknowledged hostages. that. I'm concerned about the ones who were chanting death to the Jews, the ones who were wearing Hamas regalia... The ones who were they chanting... They have been arrested by the police. Every protest that's ever taken place mm. in London, and I've been on many of them, always as a group of people there to cause trouble. Mm. They're normally dealt with by the police. Don't be asking Jeremy or the people who organised a perfectly legitimate well, Why shouldn't protest. I ask someone who's helped organise it? No, he didn't help organise <laughs> well, it. Well, you just it said he was a speaker. Ah. He was a speaker. speaker. All right, well, let me ask you this. So he's answered emphatically yeah. they should have been arrested. Well, Do you agree? If they're breaking the law and showing illegal signs, then obviously the police have to act. So anybody Wait, who... Can I just be let me just Let me just ask no, you a simple question. You seem to be over-concerned with... With anti-Semitism. No, yeah. no, I did not. I don't put words in my mouth. I didn't say that. What I said, was about to say was, you seem to be minimising the fact that 800,000 people, one of the very biggest demonstrations in our history... Well... It was 300,000. OK. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm minimising your description the of the size of the extends, crowd, but I'm not minimising, as I said... The march that extends yeah. from Battersea to Marble Arch. Yeah. But I said, at the start, I said at the start the majority of people there were for their for well-intentioned reasons, you. right? But, yeah, but he was... It, but key, well, what do you want, Pierce? Do you want us to say that anybody engaged in anti-Semitism, mm. we condemn out of hand. Because totally we've been doing that, both of us, well, all our well, lives. Well, no, what was interesting, Len, was that you were emphatic that you said they should all be arrested. Do you, Jeremy, think they if should all be arrested? If people have broken the law and the police feel there's a case for it, then, mm. of course, they can do that, and they did do that and in some cases. But I want you to understand the size of this demonstration, yeah. the peaceful nature of it, yeah. a very large number of Jewish people in the Jewish bloc mm. also carrying placards calling for the release of hostages. This was a cry of all kinds of people, mm. Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, Christian, yeah, no question. everything, no question. calling for an urgent ceasefire. I think the question you should be asking is, why hasn't our government listened to what ordinary people are saying? Well, because they don't agree that there should be a ceasefire. And there are, I think, a very arguable points about that, which we're going to come to. And the previous guest says you haven't condemned what Hamas did on October the 7th. Have you? Of course I have, on every speech. And do you unreservedly condemn? At every speech I've made, I've utterly condemned the killing of October the 7th. And it was a taking of innocent life. It was totally wrong under any circumstances. You don't bring back the tragedy of those 1,400 deaths by killing 10,000 people in Gaza. You have to have a process that leads to a ceasefire that hopefully... How do you get... Re to... Do you think Hamas should stay in charge of the it's Palestinians not for in us Gaza? to decide who's in what's charge. Your, what's your opinion? Wait a minute. I'll, t I'll tell you how to get rid of Hamas dead easy. Go on. Get the Israeli government to comply with international law, withdraw from the occupied territories, dismantle illegal settlements mm -hmm. and build a viable... Palestine, which is the United Nations position, it's the British government's position, it's the why American. Would that, why would that position. stop Hamas behaving well, like Well, because terrorists. there would not be a need for Hamas. The 
the so time. what justifies what they did on Look, October the 7th? Nothing justifies right, so it. They're, 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 it was they're, a, they're a bunch of medieval barbarians. Well, it was disgraceful. Yeah, but they're, they're not going to listen to but, any I mean, it's reason. Interesting, it's interesting. Their that, charter it's is interesting. a nihilistic view it, of Israel and getting rid of them. It's interesting that you always have on the screens, like many other media, the war between Israel and Hamas. It's not a war between mm. Israel and Hamas. It is. It's between Israel and the Palestinian people. No, but it's not, though. Thousands it's and not. thousands. So you agree with thousands of people, women and children, no. being killed? No, I don't agree with 1,500 being Let's, killed Pierce. on October the 7th. Neither do I. But I, but I do agree. I, well, let me explain I, what I do agree with. Can I put something let to you? Let me explain to you. Can I put something to you? Let me just can clarify my you? position. Me it might chance. be helpful. Give me I've, chance. I've had lots of pro-Palestinian guests on this show, as you may or may not be aware. And you've been very good on... But I've tried to be very fair, but I've been consistent about my own opinion. I think after what Hamas did on October the 7th, it is utterly inconceivable that Hamas remain in power in Gaza. Inconceivable. They are a terror group like ISIS and they have to be eliminated. The question then becomes, how do you get rid of them? Now, my question for you is, do you agree Hamas has to go? Look, I don't support Hamas. I'm not a fan of Hamas. I don't agree You used to them. call them friends. No, hang on. We did. Uh, no, nice. Karen, let's get this clear. We did say that we hang used to be friends. Hang on, Piers, can you hang Please. on a second? Let me just... Is that not true? Can I say something very clearly? Yes. To you, which I've said many times, and I said it on Andrew Marr two weeks ago. Ten years ago, ten years ago, mm. I was in a private meeting in the House of Commons with a number of people who were representative of different Palestinian groups. It was an attempt to understand their views mm. and to bring people together. For a short time, a person who was related to Hamas left the room. Mm. And I said, in a collegiate, a friendly and appropriate way, as you would at any mm. meeting, where is our friend from Hamas gone? Right. That's all I said. And that... So you called Hamas right. friends? No. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Peers. You just, you just admitted it. How many times have you sat in a meeting and called somebody a friend? I wouldn't say my friends from the IRA. I wouldn't say my friend from ISIS. I wouldn't say my friend from Al Qaeda. Look, I, you I said my friend from a mass. No, you might have changed, Jeremy. You Piers. might have changed your mind, no, which you're perfectly entitled to do. Piers. And my understanding is you you do now regret you what you are said. Obsessed, obsessed with with tittle tattle of politics. Of really, that happens ten years ago. Why don't you? Think, you why you, don't you instead concentrate on You think people on this? supporting her mass is tittle tattle? Let me finish. Give me a chance. Really? Let me finish. Yeah, give me a chance. Let me finish. How do you think people in Palestine feel? Under occupation. How do you think it's like what it's like growing up? I know up, how they feel. Growing up with a soldier outside your house. I think. How do you feel? How would you feel? Well, can if I answer? Your land was being taken. Can I answer? Put in. How would you feel if your children were being bombed in a hospital? Can I Gaza? answer? Yeah, please. Okay. I had a Palestinian doctor on here a few days ago who'd lost over 30 members of his family. Yeah. Right, he grew up on the uh, Jabili refugee camp. Yeah. His parents were displaced in 1948, and they ended up in a refugee camp where he then lost three of his daughters were killed in Israeli strike on a home he had finally got for himself. He then emigrated and has now been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. He was in tears at this desk in that seat. So I don't need to be told. I, I've I've said yes, I've said that the way question. the way that Israel is able even today to turn the tap on of water and energy and fuel into Gaza is wrong. Palestinians should have the same human rights as people in Good. Israel. Exactly. I'm unequivocal about Absolutely. that. But I'm also unequivocal in my head that Hamas has to go. Hamas. And so the question for you, Len, and for you, Jeremy, but the question is, if Israel doesn't do it like they're doing it, how do they get I've rid of Hamas? I just give you the answer. A terror before. group. I, you, I yeah, hang on, you, Len, Len, I get, on. No, I no, 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 Piers. I give you the answer before. Now, yeah, but I'm going to that... ask you a question. Okay. Do you condemn the Israeli government mm. for the occupied settlements that are growing and have been growing for decades and are against okay. international law? Do you condemn that? Yes. Fine. Then the best way to mm. get rid of any extremism that exists in nations and groups is to comply with international law mm. and make certain that okay. Palestine okay. is given a viable... And I'll finish with this question. Go on. If we all believe in a two-state solution, mm. why doesn't our government recognise the state of Palestine? Mm. Why did they only recognise the state of Israel? I think you can only have it's a two-state... It's hypocrisy I think at you its can, highest level. You can level. only have a two-state solution, but in this particular part of this very long conflict, 
you have a situation where Hamas now represents an existential threat to Israel. And they've repeated it last week. Their spokesman from Hamas repeatedly said when he was challenged, we want to do this again and again do you and believe, again do you and again. Believe, well, let me ask do, Jeremy a question. Come on, Look, can we... I want to come start, back to this thing on, about what do you I, do, what do you do to, with Hamas? Do you keep them in power? You. Israel is claiming you. it is... Uh, um, oh, not from him. Yeah, he agrees with uh, what? Is the Israeli government. No, you wouldn't Jordan answer. I said, would you keep Hamas in power? You wouldn't answer. They wouldn't it's, be in power. Can you not speak for him? It's not for a puppet God's show. Sake. It's not a puppet show, Len. It's not a puppet He's show. He's allowed to answer for himself. Of course he is. Well, let the him real, answer. The reality let is... Let him answer, Len. The reality Don't is... Don't talk for Jeremy Corbyn. All you want to do is bully people. Who am I bullying? You're bullying constantly. There's two of you. OK. Two of course. One's run the, a party in the Piers. country. Piers. One's run a major union. Are Piers. you really feeling bullied, Len? I'm not. Do I'm, me a favour. I'm not. Do me a bloody favour. Do me a bloody favour. I'm not Let me come back to Jeremy Corbyn, Piers. if can I, I may, put, without, can I without you it, speaking for him. Can I put it this way? Would you get rid can of Hamas? Can I say you something? You can answer my question. No, can I say something? Would you get rid of Hamas? Can I say something? Yes or no? Thank you. Can I say something? Thank you. Israel claiming it is conducting legitimate self-defence. Where is legitimate self-defence pre-ordering the bombing of a hospital knowing there are children in it? Where is legitimate self-defence? Well, you've heard their argument about that. School? They believe that Hamas, and this has been corroborated, by the way, Ten by everyone from Bill Clinton. Have died. Bill Clinton is on the record as saying that this is years ago. He's on the record as saying that Hamas, five, six, seven years ago. In fact, you know what? Let's listen to him say it himself. Here. El Hamas is really smart. When they decide to rocket Israel, they insinuate themselves in the hospitals, in the schools, in the highly populous areas. I killed myself to give the Palestinians a state. I had a deal they turned down that would have given them all of Gaza, wait, wait, all of Gaza between 96 and 97 percent of the West Bank, compensating land in Israel. So, two things then. We'll come to the second part in a moment. But he's crystal clear, Bill Clinton, in 2016, he was president of the United States for two terms, right, that Hamas were using hospitals, schools, mosques and others deliberately. And they don't care about Palestinian lives. They don't care I about them. The they knew when they did what they did on October the 7th, there was going to be a massive reaction by Israel. They knew thousands of innocent Palestinians would die. They don't care about their people. So my question for you, Jeremy, which you, which you haven't answered, Jeremy, there are, there are and I want you to answer... dead already. I know. How many more are there going to be before this is over? How many more I, wholly innocent fine. Palestinian answer children my question. are going to be killed answer, because of Israeli Answer military my policy. question. Answer my question. A ceasefire answer. means a ceasefire. Fire. They That's are what calling they it are on not both sides. Right. Would you have said ceasefire? As this is the Israeli argument back at you. Would you have said ceasefire to the Allied forces in World War II against the Nazis when they went after cities like Dresden and killed tens of thousands of people in one night? Would you have said ceasefire, or would you have said you keep going until you finish and defeat the enemy? That's their argument, that, that they're a war to with a group that wants to remove Israel completely and kill every Jew they can get their hands on. Now, I've asked you repeatedly... Without I want you to wishing ask to rehearse everything in the Second World War, I think military targets should be industrial and military targets. Right, but a lot of German... Home, as, homes and hospitals. As you know, a lot of German civilians died in the process of they taking on the Nazis. They so my question did. again, and just answer this question... Would you keep Hamas in power? It's not up to you. What's your me? opinion? No, hang on a minute. You're expressing plenty of other opinions, aren't you? Pierce, well, can can I you ask, calm down a minute? Can I ask you uh, well, a question? Well, you know, I'm can sorry. You calm down a minute. If can you ask, think Hamas should stay in power, you calm say down so. A minute. Can I ask you? Is your, a question? Well, I wanted to answer the question. Can I Listen, ask no, a, he can answer it. Can I ask you a question? It's not a puppet show, Len. Can I ask you? Well, Why I'm won't a, you say Hamas should go? You are a very strange form of interviewing. Am I? Where you interrupt, shout and abuse your guests. Well, you refuse to answer my question what? and he keeps trying to answer it for you. No, I'm going to well, ask you, you a question. No, I'm not going to ask me a question, kind of Len. Not? It's not your show, it's mine. And I, I keep asking you the same question. Here. Would you Look, keep Hamas in power? What I said was there has to be a ceasefire. A ceasefire has to be both sides. That ceasefire will then hopefully develop into a longer-term Peace well, you process. think Israel can Wait, do... Hang on a minute. Israel, you think Israel can do peace with Hamas? Israel has been talking to Hamas for 20 years. You think they can do peace they, with them after, been, after October the 7th? They've been... Uh, listen, October the 7th was abominable and appalling. Mm. That we're agreeing And you on. think Israel can do peace with people that did that? 
I managed to get two sentences in between... Because you won't answer you my now... question. Look, if you want to have a discussion, fine. Answer my question. If you question. want to just shout at me, should, that's your prerogative, should Hamas, your TV, your show. Should Hamas okay? stay in power? Should... Listen, what I said was a ceasefire means a ceasefire. It means both sides have to cease fire. Yeah. It means you then... Well, you said that. Should Hamas stay in power? It's actually you, you're done yet. It's actually a critical question. Are you done yet? It's a critical question. Are you done yet? No, it's the question. Are you done yet? Should they stay in power? Are you done yet? This country says they're a terror group. Do you agree? And should they stay in Listen, power? Listen, I do not approve, support, or welcome Hamas. Are they a terror? Any... Are they a terror group? Everybody knows what they are. Are they a terror group? Look, um, Piers, can, can you we... say it? Piers, can we have a discussion? Can you say it? Can we have a discussion? Can you call them a terror Piers, group? Jeremy. Can we have a discussion? Can you call them a terror Piers, group? Is it possible to have a rational discussion with you? Are you prepared you? to call is Hamas possible a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational discussion with you? can't, can you? you? Is it possible? Come on, answer that you question. You can't, can you? You answer it. No, it's my okay. show, you answer my question. Well, are, Hamas, you are, the, are Hamas a terror group? Listen, can I... Are they a terror group? Piers, can I speak? Answer the question. Can I speak? Are they a terror group? Piers, can no, you let then, me speak? No, if you let me speak... Are I'll they say, a terror group? If you'll let me speak, Piers. I'll say something. Go on, then. A ceasefire means both sides... You said that. Are they a terror group? Listen, I said that. Are they that a terror is group? Part of the process. Are they a terror and group? And will. Ha can we? Go Why can't you say it, Piers? Can we go through what ought to be happening? Just answer my question. Why do you think are Hamas most a terror nations group? in the world are calling for a ceasefire? Are Why Hamas a terror group? Come on, answer that. Give are, answer me. No, you've got it's not so many, your show. You've got so many opinions. Why should I answer yours when you won't answer mine? Why do you give out your opinions all day and every day? Are Hamas? You don't like it. Are Hamas a terror group? Are you? Hamas a terror group? Yes or well, no? You won't. Like, you won't like it when somebody yes pushes no. back on you. What I've said is, I've asked you two questions: Should Hamas stay in power, and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either. Of them. They that is very telling. They and you wonder, it's not very and you wonder it's why not, people think you had a problem not with very Jewish people. At all, uh, right? What is you very wonder. telling is your inability to keep quiet for 30 seconds yeah. to allow anybody I, to answer a on question. On my show, I ask people questions. You and shout norm, at people. Normally, you they answer them. I, you shout at people. I, no, no, only do. when they won't answer the question. No, I, you shout at people all the you've time. Deliberately you've not, for a long time. Piers, you've deliberately not answered my question. Piers, Piers, I've explained to you how to get rid of them. You, Are they a terror group, Len? Uh, of course, the Thank terror... You. Why can't you say well, that? Hang on, hang on. You've answered it. it uh, but, uh, should they stay in power, Len? But, uh, do you, should they, they stay in power? No, they won't be in no, no, power. No, do you believe they should? They won't be in... No, do you believe they should? They won't be in do power. Do you believe they should? They won't... No, I don't believe... OK, so I you've believe, answered my question. I believe... It's not on. that difficult no, to say Hamas should go reality, and they're a terror group. The why can't you, why Jeremy can't Corbyn, you also answer the questions? ask something about the behaviour of the Israeli army and the Israeli government. Why can't you say that? Why can't you have a discussion about how a ceasefire would come about? Why can't you have a discussion about a process for the future? Because you know why, Jeremy? About, which brings you know about, why, Jeremy? Which when brings I... about a peace for everybody because in the region. Because when I repeatedly... And it does not mean that the people of Gaza because when I repeatedly support Hamas. When I repeatedly that, you ask you, are Hamas a terror organisation and should they stay in power? And you are simply incapable of saying no, not. that they're a terror group and they shouldn't stay the in most power. Important people will thing. draw their own conclusions. The most important They'll draw their own conclusions. Thing. You, you drew stop. your conclusions before. How, anyway, how let me conclude you with this. Uh, you've done a book on poetry. It's which we called, gave you a uh, copy of. Poetry for the Many. I appreciate it. Thank you Thank very you. much. Wonderful poetry from wonderful people encouraging the working classes to embrace and enjoy culture. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. Good. Thank you very much. Goodbye. OK.